Hey, what's up guys? It's Phil here. On today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my interior mods on my Toyota 4Runner. This is a 2021 TRD Off-Road Premium. I'm gonna share a couple of things that I've done to the mod, to the car here. Some of these things you've seen already, some of these things you haven't. I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you guys. Let me know what you guys think. So first and foremost, I do wanna thank any of my sponsors, anybody that sent me product to test. Um, I'll drop a link below with, with any of the promo codes that I have any of the links that I have for any of the items I'm gonna be talking about today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna talk about the armrest compartment here. So what I have here is the armrest compartment, Moly panel. Um, I got this from a Etsy seller. Uh, this is 3D printed, it's made very well. I love to stay organized and this helps me do that. So. You know, I've got a flashlight here, I've got some multi-tools, and I've got a multi-tool bag here. Um, I just love this thing right now. Again, I love to stay organized. I'm gonna add more things to this, uh, but this is my setup so far. So the next thing I have is a wireless tray. I got this from Car Trim Home. I use this for my second phone. It charges wirelessly here, so I just drop it here. And it has a coin slot here, an extra USB slot. And again, it is wireless, so wireless should have came with all the foreigners, but because this car is super outdated, it does not have that. I still have room to put, put my glasses and so and whatnot here, and it still closes perfectly. So this is my setup. Again, I love to stay organized. This helps me do that. All right, so my next mod here is going to be my Switch Pros. I know a lot of you guys have these Switch panels here. I love this, it lights up, I, it has so many stickers, I can put any setting there and then there is going to be a sticker for it. When I turn on the vehicle, it lights up, it has all my daylights, any of my spot roofs, I can even turn on my my flash for my Baja so that it'll, it'll start flashing and strobing which is really cool. This is again. A very nice item here. I love it. I'll drop a link below. I, I should have done this a lot sooner to stay organized and have all my wires just nice and tucked in and clean. So the next interior mod I have, which is pretty cool, is a heads up display. Again, I got this from Car Trim Home. Um, I've had this for about a month and a half now. This is really cool. It, it I'm stepping on the gas, so that's my revving. Um, it has mile per hour, it has um, any door sensors, this is gonna be my door sensor. It has my trunk sensors, tire inflation, uh, PSI alerts, and uh, there's a couple other things, but it's pretty cool. It helps keep my eyes on the road instead of having to look down on the dash. Um, my eyes are more focused forward. Um, I can see it during the day and as well as at night. I like it, I think it's pretty cool. This is how, how it actually looks. And it just reflects onto that little mirror piece right there. So let me know what you guys think on that. Uh, next mod that I have to share is going to be a shift knob. You know, before you guys go see that, I'm gonna talk about the shift knob. So the shift knob is something I got from Car Trim Home. It was super easy to install. You just uh, turn counterclockwise and install it vice versa. So, real nice, love it. Uh, before I get into the other last part, this is a uh, button that I install for a siren. Um, besides the honking, I love a little siren. It's just something really cool. I uh, use it all the time when I'm just kind of trying to direct traffic to go a little bit. Everyone just gets startled. They don't know what's going on. So that's my little gimmick there. I love it. Um, I've had it for all my vehicles. Something I, that I do, so. Second to last is gonna be my radio. This is a Baofeng. I have a little Baofeng mount right there. Frequency mode. Radios from Battleborn. You always gotta have a radio. I have a little mount that I just pretty much drilled there. Stays on there. I have a 
why I have a battery connection kit that plugs straight into the cigarette lighter. So if I'm not using battery, I just plug it straight there with the battery delete kit. So that's something that I have going on there. And if you guys can see this wire, this is the wire that I'm running up top to my RAM mount. I have a little wire here where I plug in my phone to. It always just stays around this area using these clips. I love this RAM mount. I off-road have some really rocky trails and this helps the phone stay right in front of my visible view so love that again i went cheap i just drilled it right onto there a lot of you guys might not agree might not like it but i didn't want to spend 150 dollars for a panel there so whatever and uh, last but not least i have a pulse taser gun so if you guys have been watching you guys uh had a sneak peek earlier that's what it is and it comes with a little hoister that i installed there but this is a pulse gun so very cool gun or deterrent of a gun i just like to be safe i have a vehicle that is modded up if i am not concealing and carrying i will always have this in my vehicle so what it does is it fires actually a taser and it'll put somebody down it uses battery i just flip the switch it not only lights on but it has a laser pointer it can shoot up to about 10 feet away love this as a protection hopefully i'll never have to use it that's that um again i'll drop a link below for all these mods that i've done to my vehicle just wanted to provide a quick update for you guys um i'll drop a link below let me know what you guys think about any of the mods that i've done here um any ideas or any videos that you guys want to share of your setup i would love to see it i'm all for it catch you guys later and again a lot of you guys are not subscribed yet so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button